What's going on, my everything? It's your girl Janiqua A, and I am back with my uh, with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in. Let's see what spirit got for you guys. Archangel Michael and Alexa, please protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap into my everything's energy. All right, the Page of Swords. Who? Somebody has been getting information done, searching, investigating. This is an investigator. All right? So you are being investigated right now. Okay? Yeah. The Ace of Cups. Somebody want to know who you're dealing with in your future. Somebody want to know who you're dealing with. All right? Somebody literally could have been getting readings done. But somebody is investigating the Ace of Cups. Okay. So, Spirit, give me more on this energy. They're like, they doing more to invest. They've mastered the art. This is like FBI type of thing. You hear me? Investigation. Okay. They're serious. They're focused. They want to know something. Spirit, tell me more about this energy, please, and thank you. The Four of Wands. Somebody want to know who you got in your house. <laughs> Somebody wants to know who you got in your house. All right? I don't know who this person is, but they've been investigating your house. For some of you guys, this person could have been riding around. They could have been asking people around. They could have been asking like word on the street type of thing. Some You might even hear that word on the street. Somebody been asking about you or secretly. You know what I'm saying? Because an investigator is secret. Somebody fuck around and hired a fucking investigator. But I'm strongly getting somebody just in their investigator energy. Like doing this shit on their own. Privately investigating who you got in your house. Or the foundation that you're building. Because I feel like they're not a part of it, maybe. Somebody's house is or home or foundation. Somebody want to know who up in there. All right? Because it's looking like lights out. So it's looking like there's, there's, they can't, they don't know. Somebody's out the loop. Somebody doesn't have information. Somebody, somebody doesn't have facts. Ooh, the Queen of Cups. You hear me? They want to know who the fuck you sleeping with. All right, so the Queen of Cups in this energy is very, very loving. Very, very seductive. They have a sense of, like, everybody loves her. All right, she is the person, the go-to person when you want to talk about your feelings. She's the girl go-to person when you just want some genuine advice, right? She's the go-to person for moral support and fun. She's mad creative. All right? You know, y'all are coming out extremely intuitive and beautiful. All right? You are coming out as all-seeing and all-knowing. All right? You are coming out as somebody that cannot be gaslighted. Like you see past the bullshit. Okay, somebody you might have, somebody may have took your comments for weakness here. But with this Queen of Cups, you're extremely intuitive. All right, and you see everything. All right, so you all, you, you must have seen something that wasn't being told to you. You felt it in your soul. You hear me? You probably were smoking. Thinking about it, processing it, all right? You could be like a wife, you know, the Queen of Cups is a mother or a wife figure. So I, I feel like because I said that, and I never say that from the Queen of Cups, like she is a wife and she is a motherly figure. So you, you wifey material and you're not going to accept nothing less. 
you are really, really generous too. So you probably looking like, bitch, I put up a meme one day and it said, it said, I remember one time I asked a nigga for nothing and he still couldn't give me that. <laughs> so this is not necessarily to a masculine, but this is the energy that I'm getting like, you are very generous, okay? You are kind, you are forgiving, but I feel like somebody played with your played with your kindness and took your kindness for weakness. All right, you are highly in tuned in with your emotions and very in tuned in with other people's emotions. So look at what you're watching. Y'all both watching each other. He's it's like a masculine energy is trying to be very investigative about. Like it's like kind of like I want my cake and eat it too type of energy. Because why does a man got to be so investigative if y'all on good terms like there could be communication? So somebody is just investigating you privately. I feel like this person is privately investigating you or well, he thinks that he's private, but intuitively you already know. Queen of Cups. And then he's coming out as a page. So a lot of the things that was said, a lot of the actions with that was taken wasn't from a good source wasn't from a valid source all right this person probably was even being told something page of swords all right but it wasn't from a reliable source and you knew everything that was going on so I, that's what it is okay yeah look the nine of pentacles you good by yourself the sun is shining this is brighter days something came to light here Spirit, give me more on this page of swords. What is this private investigator? It's giving men in black. Watch yourselves. You hear me? Ooh. Child. The eight of swords. Somebody probably is about to unleash some sort of demon. You know, somebody's mad, first of all. Somebody's acting like they're not pissed. They've been holding back this demon. So the demons is I'm it's not it's not giving actual demons. For some of y'all is, alright? This person is fighting their demons. But to you, you never seen this person. You did something or whatever it is that you're doing, because you see past something in your Queen of Cups energy, alright? Somebody is secretly obsessed or secretly investigating you accent or inquiring doing their own research secretly all right page of swords they're doing it secret all right and whatever that they're finding out or whatever that they see you doing they are trying to literally hold back their anger it's a side to this person you have never seen before all right and it's slowly creeping up them stairs and being let out because they're not expressing their feelings Somebody is hiding, all right? Somebody is being very secretive or when it comes to how they feel, what they've been hearing, what they've been communicating. And that's just our shadow self. So it's going to get to a boiling point where this person is going to spaz the fuck out and show their true colors because they don't know how to communicate or express to you something. So... Be careful because this person is anger is being built up secretly. Okay. Somebody also could feel like you hiding somebody. Somebody could feel like you being secret about who you allowing in your house. Spirit. Page of swords. Let me tell you. It's because you felt out something. This is a lot of air energy coming from this masculine. All right. This is a whole lot of secret energy all right and somebody was trying to take something to the grave you found out something somebody thought you was boo boo the fool because you was giving you was very generous you was very loving all right but they forgot the spiritual and intuitive side all right where you you don't look too nice right here right you look like you know something all right this person you already know what this person was trying to keep to the grave this person literally was doing everything not to tell you something they was trying to take it to the grave. That's a man trying to bury a letter. And the letters in the decks is like communication. You already knew. And the Queen of Cups is big on communication. 
You hear me? She don't give a fuck as long as you not. She not feeling crazy that you try. You know, she's very intuitive. You already felt like this person was trying to hide something, but it was not. It was how they was going about it. Like, first of all, what you trying to hide? First of all, if you dealing with me, what you trying to hide? And then trying to take it to the grave. Oh, you don't really want me to know. Oh yeah, we gonna find out. All right. So I feel like just as well as this person is trying to be a private investigator. Oh baby, you don't have to front. You already know intuitively. So you already knew that this person was trying to keep something from you. And I feel like it was something about home. Maybe they had a hidden family. Maybe they was living with somebody. Maybe they had a contract. But it was something that they did not want to get out. Out of those motherfucking four walls. You hear me? And for a lot of you guys, unfortunately, it's going to be probably they had another family. Or they was doing something in that household they didn't have no business doing. All right? Trying to take it to the grave. And for a lot of you guys, y'all coming out in the Queen of Cups, y'all ain't saying it. Y'all ain't speak on it. Y'all continue to gather information intuitively. You continue to gather facts until when it's the right time, you can't be gaslighted no more. That's how the Queen of Cups go. All right? She'll keep giving you, giving you the rope. Giving you the rope. Giving you a chance to be honest. She already know. All right? So whatever this person was trying to take to the grave involving a house, a family, a marriage, a commitment, a relationship. Done got this person upset that you moved on. And now they're secretly upset. That they think that you got something going on in your house. Or you moved on in another foundation. Or you started a new commitment with somebody. That's what I see, y'all. Spirit, give me more on this, um, this house. This four of wands. It's giving house. It's giving family. It's giving, so, you know, your foundation. Where you go rest your head at night. Uh, ooh, the three of cups. This person was being very sneaky. Look at that face. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For some of you guys, this person could have had some sort of addiction too. It could have been anything. All right? That could have been something too. For some of you guys, this person could have been trying to get over an addiction but was finding it hard and didn't want to tell you. That, that addiction could have been lust, sex, money, drugs, alcohol, weed, food, going outside, a, 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 a street mentality. It could have been whatever. But this person was hiding something. Like, with this page of coins, this page of pentacles wanting to take something to the grave. All right? And with this page of pentacles, this could have been something about um, their money or their work. All right, but they were sneaky as hell, and you not gonna. That's the thing. Why be sneaky? Why be sneaky to a queen of cups? She gonna know after she gave you so much love and just, just and gave you the open space to be upfront. Maybe I could have healed from it because that's what she's good at. Heart chakra. So this person played themselves. They were being very sneaky, and the three of cups is like two is a party, three is a crowd type of energy. This person probably could have been hot in the fact that they was having people over there chilling, smoking, doing what the fuck ever. You hear me? For some of you guys, this person was an addict. I'm sorry. This is not going to be for everybody. But for some of you guys, this person was an addict. Like shooting up and shit. It was something wrong with their blood or their DNA. Alright? So spirit, give me more on this um, page of Pentacles. What they was trying to... Bury in a grave, like take it to the grave type of energy. Being very sneaky. You see how they had very low. Okay. They robbed you of a choice. They tried to. You look, they feel like a fool because you found out. They feel like a fool because you found out anyway, instead of being mature and upfront. You found out anyway. And for a lot of you guys, they feel like a fool because you coming out as the queen of cups. There's no fresh thoughts. There's no new beginnings. With this new moon that's here, they feel like an asshole. And for some of you guys, they, they could be going through um, um, a lot of legal problems where there might be an investigation on them too. But they feel like an absolute fool. 
an absolute fool. They feel like they dropped the fucking ball. The risk that they took to try to hide that shit from you was not worth what they are receiving right now. Look, the moon called to the Ace of Pentacles. They done had a blessing in their hands and now they slipped it away. <laughs> that is crazy. Spirit, give me more on this Three of Cups. What is this? This eyes, the eyes that tell it off, the actions. All right? You don't, you don't need eyes to see and you don't need motherfucking ears to hear. Oh my gosh. This person was working against you. This person was working with a group of motherfuckers that were trying to attack you passionately. Okay? This is looking like a cult. They didn't... Y'all, this person didn't want to tell you that they were secretly a part of some sort of cult. You hear me? Where they was around and, and grouped up with a lot of crazy people and dealing with spirituality. All right? These people were intentionally sending energy at you and this person was acting like they didn't know. And the whole time they knew because it was people on their end of the bargain. So that's what the secret was. They, you, A lot of people, specifically probably eight different people or eight different energies was waving intentionally, waving spiritual warfare directed to you, all right, because of this person. And this person was trying to act like boo-boo the fool like they didn't know. They wanted to act confused and they were being very, very sneaky when it comes to having ties with the people that was against you. All right. And they were trying to take something to the grave. All right. With those people, they didn't want you to find out something. Okay. They didn't want you to find out the darkness that they was hiding. All right. Let me tell you, this person is looking like they had some shit demons. You hear me? They was fucking with a lot of people that was fucking with a lot of shit. And they was trying to keep that from you. You hear me? They were trying to, instead of, instead of intervening in a situation, all right? And now that you cut all ties, now that they out of, and this was a cult. You hear me? This was a dark ass cult. This is people who they rode with. All right? So yeah, you found out and you separated yourself. You moved on and you like, yeah, you going through all of that year. You should be. All right, because the Queen of Cups is really, really spiritual. She connected to spirits too. She's very, very intuitive. She's connected. She's a channeler. You can even be a reader with the Queen of Cups or some form of spiritualist that is um, an authority of spiritual matters. All right, they feel like a fool for fucking with you because they took your kindness for weakness. Now they're learning to not fuck with the quiet ones. Now they're learning to not undervalue somebody's... Um, gratitude or love all right so yeah they was fucking with a whole army of motherfuckers being very sneaky sound like a fool spirit give me more on this four of wands this house give me more on that please look they're being they under judgment they are going, this is spiritual too, y'all. They're under major judgment. So like, you know, the shift is here. Eclipse season starts the 20th and the 20s of this month. This shit going, this is judgment time for this motherfucker. You hear me? Whoever this is for y'all. They are under major judgment right now. It, it's them and other people. Whoever was targeting you. And they didn't protect, provide, defend, shelter, you know, cover. They all, they not just by themselves, all of them are under heavy judgment. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and all of that. That's crazy. Spirit, give me more on this four of swords. This, this secret that they they had a lot of secrets they had a lot of secrets about their real personalities their anger who they was tied up with especially in the spiritual realm all right they was tied up with your foes okay but still wanted to be in your energy and now that now they investigating you that's crazy this is what i see look the lover's card they did not want you to see another side to them y'all it's looking like you came into their life 
and you changed them in some sort of way. And now that you're gone, they're investigating you. But let me tell you, they loved you so much that they did not want you to see this other side to them. And you seen it anyway. You had a chance. They had a chance to be up front with you. This person is, oh, you seen this, the love was called. This person is uh, obsess obsessively in love with you because your divine feminine energy is being felt. Your silence is being felt. They know they fucked up because with you subtracting your energy from them and pulling it away and, and emotionally checking out, they're reaping major karma for the warfare that they waved upon you. The two of cups. You are free. Wow. It was an abundance. They were taking your abundance. Look how much of abundance of love you gave to this person. This was an overflow of abundance. The two of cups with the lover's card. It was you that was giving so much love. And then you got the queen of cups right here. You like, you was like this at first. You was like this at first. But once you found out all this bullshit, you became the queen of cups. Like, I, right, I got something for that ass. Two different energies. The same motherfucker. Y'all. One could be smiling. The other one could be dead ass serious. And that's the other side. All right. That they are seeing right now, y'all. All right. Because they, you can't. Yo. You was blessing their future. You was releasing them from a lot of karma. You was adding so much. The star. Yeah, you was too much. You was too much. They ain't know what to do with you. My, my nigga, like, you was the key to their future. Ace of Cups. You was the bridge to their future. You was the, the love that they needed. You was the partnership that they needed. You was very wise. It's looking like you had the world at your fingertips. It's looking like you were some sort of sorcerer. But it was you that was aligned. And now... That they didn't clear up their karma with you. And that you moved on and you still and you, you still and you in the ace of cups, two of cups, stars. You bitch. You reaching for the stars. You already knew this shit was gonna happen probably after you started to feel this person energy. This person done fucked up. Look, and went from this to lover's card, all love and light, to motherfucker. You about to find out that I don't play with goofies. Alright? And then you started to just channel. You start to do the right things. All right. Opportunities endless. Ace of Cups energy. Free. Okay. Shooting for the stars. Yeah. Queen of fucking pinnacles. You royalty. This is royalty status. So somebody did not know what to deal with you, right? Do with you. They didn't know. They didn't know your status. They didn't know what you was capable of. They didn't know you was hidden in plain sight. Because if anybody knows this about you at first, they might, they might be in it for the wrong reasons. And now that you are separated from this person, this person is realizing who they had. They have some, they had somebody of royalty. They had somebody that is in star status and that is a public figure. They had somebody that is very, very intuitive and knows how to channel spirit. They had somebody that is definitely loved and connected to the divine and is the portal between wor worlds is a sorcerer is somebody that understands what's about to unfold and what's to come and is somebody that everybody loves damn so but and somebody that gives endless amount of love because you have it so somebody chose to secretly involve other people in their business and not shield you from the warfare the, this cult was intentionally waving on you because of this person. All right? This person was trying to take a secret to the grave. It was many secrets that they were trying to take to the grave. One of them was working with people against you. The second one was another side to them, a demonic side that they didn't want you to see, that it was slowly approaching. All right? This person feels like a fool that they are now seeing what they lost. Or because of the wrong judgment cause. All right, they are under judgment, heavy judgment. All right, you have you are you have a stable household. 
You are very strong in your your career, in your family life, in your demeanor, in your character, in your skills. All right, and this person is just left out. This person is going to be left secretly investigating you, okay, and having to stand on business and deal with that karma. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I love you and I'll help.